uh, and the uh, the movement went uh, grew through between the two world wars, and after the Second World War, it probably was at its peak. It was very powerful then. There were le uh, state legislators from many of the states in the United States were representatives to a big in a big conference in Europe in 1950, looking for, talking about world government. And people were talking about the need for an earth constitution at that time. So out of that movement came a group of people uh, in the United States. Uh, there was an office for uh, world government in Chicago that they were first affiliated with. Uh, in the late 50s, early 60s, and out of that, some of them said, "Let's be, sh let's write a constitution for the Earth." And uh, mm -hmm. they they said, in they got together. Uh, the most uh, they had resources, and they contacted people around the world, got them together in two or three preliminary meetings. Uh, and then finally, a big meeting took place in 1968 in, in uh, Switzerland, uh, where they formulated the plan, the content, the groundwork for writing an Earth Constitution and elected a, mm -hmm. a committee, 25-member committee, headed by Dr. Reinhard Ruga of Mexico to, to produce a constitution. So they, 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 this went on for another, from that time on, another 23 years. They had a second constituent assembly in, uh, in uh, Innsbruck, Austria, 1977. Uh, they went over the draft paragraph by paragraph. It was a brilliant draft, but they had, you know, everybody worked on it together. And then they had a third one in Colombo, Sri Lanka, 1979. And uh, then a fourth one, there were even, you know, there were continual examination of the Constitution. Right. And, and finally, it was finished in Troya, Portugal in 1991. So since that time, we have been, we've been trying to get the people of Earth to see that unless we unite together and initiate a process, a real governmental process that can represent the interests of everybody on Earth, and demilitarize the nations and create a peace system for the earth, we really don't have much of a future on this planet.